All right, everyone, now we turn to Georgia, where Judge McBurney, of course, has blocked a number of Georgia election laws from taking place uh, before the election happens, uh, which is very strange because the precedent that's being used is not really a legal precedent at all. This is the problem with the court system in some cases. Um, a judge deciding on some legal manner basically makes up precedent out of thin air. Uh, this has happened before, notably over the last couple of years. Um, the Georgia election laws would have effectively defortified the election there. And one major provision was that ballots had to be hand-checked. That is, that they had to be gone through by hand. In many states, they already do this. For some inexplicable reason, Certain states just are physically incapable of doing what other states do on a four-year basis. Well, technically a two-year basis. In most states, you have hand counting. In some states, you don't even really have electronic voting. Um, you, you have old-school paper ballots. I think it should be paper ballot only. You can use a feeder system. That's obviously electronic, although you don't technically need those as well. And then they should be hand counted. Why is it that certain states... And they always inexplicably seem to vote blue in, in, you know, competitive elections, just like in 2020. How very strange. It never works in reverse, it seems. How is it that a handful of states aren't capable, like, like the people there aren't capable of mustering the energy to actually go through the ballots by hand and spot check to make sure, hey, you know, this ballot is actually acceptable, that one... Uh, you know, it, it doesn't, it's not filled out properly, it can't be counted, this one is maybe fraudulent. Um, why is it that, like, 40 states in the Union can do this and, you know, a handful of them can't? It's weird how the populations of certain states are incapable of doing so. Now, perhaps in Georgia I can believe it, considering the election system there that's employed, and the same would be true of Arizona. But I would think that, uh, you know, saying that it will cause havoc, it'll cause chaos. Well, okay, we can't possibly do this. Uh, that was basically the precedent. It doesn't make any sense because there's a precedent in all of these other states where it's done on a routine basis and they've never really had problems with it. Absent a um, state like Florida, of course. Uh, <laughs> well, that, the 2000, it was a weird year, let me tell you. 2001 got even weirder. But, uh, I think that McBurney is completely wrong. This decision will be overturned, but it'll be after the election. It's basically a temporary stay uh, on this taking place. And there are other provisions too, but the hand counting one was probably the most important for election integrity purposes. You have teams of volunteers that go in and they look through the ballots. Now, are there going to be a lot of ballots cast? Yeah. Can a few thousand volunteers at various precincts presumably go through the ballots that are going to be cast in, in the course of a night? Yes, they can. And as those results trickle in and are finally collated, you see the result. Now, Democrats, generally speaking, and then a handful of neocons will counter. Well, ballot fraud's not widespread. This, we've had multiple elections over the last few decades that have been besmirched by things like fraud and, and fucked up voting machines and everything else under the sun. The 2000 election comes to mind, probably most famously. The, the 2020 election, uh, you know, again, the, the states that couldn't figure themselves out are all the ones that flipped magically blue at the end of the night. It was very, very strange at the time. It took them days to count. Well, they didn't even have hand counting in some of these states, yet they still couldn't pull it off. It's obvious that there's something beyond uh, the general public being too stupid to know how to organize to count ballots by hand. The 2016 election, uh, there were irregularities there. Democrats, by the way, love to exploit that topic to say that the election was rigged by a bunch of Russians. It wasn't, of course, but there are irregularities in every presidential election. It, it begs the question how the court can therefore, out of thin air, create a precedent. It, because it makes no sense. It's a thin air precedent. There's no actual precedent that's been made. There's no law that's actually referred to. It's basically just the judge giving an opinion. It has nothing to do with any sort of legal backdrop. It has to do with its my opinion, man. And so I think that it's completely disgraceful. Georgia, therefore, will remain partially fortified now. 
does this change the fact that I believe Trump is likely to win Georgia? No, he's been consistently a couple points ahead, and he's running well ahead of where he was in 2016 when he won the state and he won the national election. The number of ballots, therefore, that you'd have to fudge is an order of magnitude higher than it was for the results he would have had in, like, 2016. When Hillary Clinton was ahead in the swing states generally and certainly in national polling generally on Election Day, and you need a lot more ballot printers to go burr than you would even need in 2016, uh, and, and many, many more than in 2020, um, when, when Biden was handily ahead in virtually all polling across the board in these competitive areas. In the end, of course, you still had a massive reduction in his support uh, in the end number versus the end polling, uh, but it wasn't enough, you know, because you only needed a few, you needed like less than 100,000 ballots scattered across these states to flip the election. It's easier to pull that off than to say, ah, oh, we need like two, three million of them. So I still think that Georgia will go red, at least right now. I'm going to keep looking at the polling. Of course, we have to keep looking at that. And I don't think that it'll be enough. But it is, it is fudgery. This is definitely election diddling, so to speak. That's about all. Peace out.